Hello all the students. Today we are going to study about the characteristics of a computer network. There are four important characteristics that every computer network must have. So these characteristics are fault tolerance, scalability, quality of service which is also known as QoS. Sometimes we refer to the quality of service or L to also as QoS and then is security. So these are the four uh, most important characteristics that every computer network is said to have or must have. So let's start with the first uh, characteristic that is the fault tolerance. Now if I talk about fault tolerance, what does fault tolerance mean? What do you mean by fault tolerance when I talk of fault tolerance? It means the ability to continue working. Fault tolerant is the ability to continue working despite failure. So it is the ability to continue working despite failure. Now a computer network can fail due to several reasons. Out of all the several reasons it may fail due to whichever reason. But in any case even if the computer network fails it must continue to provide service. That means the network should ensure that there is no loss of service even if a fault has occurred or even if there is a failure. Now to uh, help you better understand this I will give you a real life example. For example uh, you go to imagine that you are going back home from your college right and you know very well about the best route to reach your home. And obviously then you prefer taking this regular best route. But unfortunately there is a blockage in that particular route and you cannot take this route further. So what will you do in that situation? Will you not go back to your college? Will you not go back to your college now? Or will you find the next available best route to reach to your college? Obviously a wiser decision would, would be to find the best available route to reach to your college. If the route which you were following till now has there is a blockage in that route so the next best available route that is available you will find that particular route that is a wiser thing to do instead of sitting at home. So this is what even a computer network is expected to do. A computer network has various paths to transfer data from the source to destination. If one of the path has failed, then it is the responsibility of the computer network to select the best next available path to send the data. That means the services should never stop whatsoever. This is fault tolerance. Next we talk about scalability. Now what is scalability? Scalability is the ability to grow, is the ability to grow based on the need, right? So based on the need, you may need the network to grow. That means you may need more nodes to be added to the network based on the requirement. So what does the this particular feature or this particular characteristic scalability mean? Scalability here means the ability to grow based on the needs and still have good performance even after growth. Right? You may add more nodes to the network uh, based on your requirement but that does not mean that the uh, performance of the network would degrade. Even after adding more nodes to the network the performance should remain same. It should not degrade only then the network will be said to be scalable. For example, 
uh, assume that you have 10 computers added to a particular network and based upon the requirements say the organization grows the org size of the organization increases with time so the network for that organization requires 10 more computers so that means earlier the organization was having 10 computers or 10 nodes and now after adding 10 more nodes it has 20 nodes so again this network should work as like the same even after adding 10 more computers right and the best example for this is internet the internet is a scalable network every second a new node is added to the computer still sorry every second a new node is added to the internet still there is no uh, degradation of the performance still you get the same performance as you used to get earlier so a network should be scalable then the third quality is the quality of service or the third characteristic is the quality of service now the quality of service or QOS what does it mean what do you mean by the quality of service in a network it means the ability the ability to set ability to set priorities and manage data traffic to reduce data loss and delay so quality of service in a network means the ability of the network to set priorities first of all and then manage the data traffic in such a way that it reduces any loss of data there is no loss of data and also there is no delay in the transmission of data right so what do you mean by setting priorities the first point says the ability of the network to set priorities so what do you mean by that setting priorities means able to find prioritize your data or able to identify which data needs to be sent first if you have more than one data to be sent at the same time say for example between a voice over communication and an email which data needs to be sent first obviously a voice over communication data sends to be requires to be sent first because in case of a voice over data even a delay of one second can cause problem but in case of an email even if the email is delayed for one or two seconds that wouldn't cause much of a problem so you the network needs to know which is a more important data or the network needs to prioritize among the data if it is supposed to send more if it gets more than one data to be sent so it must be able to set priorities next is managing data traffic obviously there is so much data you must be able to manage that data in such a way that there is no loss of data each and every uh, piece of data is sent from the sender to the receiver and also there is no delay in the transmission of data data must be sent within the uh, time constraint and should not be delayed uh, in sending so this means if these two qualities are adhered to or if these two qualities are there in a network you can say that the the network has quality of service then the last important characteristic is your scalability so what is scalability scalability is the ability the ability to prevent first of all unauthorized access right then the misuse and third is the forgery also scalability is the ability 
to provide confidentiality to provide integrity and to provide availability right so when i talk of sorry security the last characteristic is security scalability we have already seen scalability is the ability to grow based upon the needs and still having the same performance so this last characteristic that we are talking about is security so what do you mean by security how can you say that a network is a secure network based on these characteristics first of all the network must be able to prevent any kind of unauthorized access any kind of misuse of the information and any kind of forgery second it must be able to provide confidentiality integrity and availability so security is to prevent and provide what should be prevented unauthorized access misuse and forgery and what should be provided confidentiality integrity and availability okay for example suppose someone from his computer is sending some confidential information to amazon by confidential information i mean when you uh, enter the details of your card right when you are doing a transaction and you are entering the details of your card so that is a confidential information right because you don't want that information someone else to know so once the data leaves your computer it is not in your hands you know that once you enter all the details from your system and it goes of, uh, uh, through the network then it is not in your hands now internet has both good people and bad people and these bad people the uh, bad people which i am talking about are also known as the attackers right so when there are bad people or when there are attackers who try to attack the information assume our uh, now you assume that our confidential information is flowing through a router through a particular router i can call it router 1 or router 2 let us say this confidential information is flowing through router 1 and an attacker steals this information from router 1 so they get access to your computer they can misuse they can misuse all the information they have in your computer they can evolve in some kind of forgery and obviously they got an unauthorized access by attacking right and this is unauthorized access misuse and forgery that first of all in an unauthorized manner that means you were not authorized to access that particular information you did not have have a, a valid username and password still somehow you managed to attack the information you misused it you did some forgery right so it becomes an important task for the computer network to provide you with in order to prevent all these three activities it becomes an important task for the computer network to provide you with confidentiality confidentiality means able to hide your information for this the data is not sent and to provide confidentiality data is not sent in the original form as it is the data before sending is coded in a form which is understandable only by the sender or the receiver and no one else so before the data being is being sent it is coded in a particular format then at the receiver's end it is again uh, uh, converted back into the original form right and this is understandable only by the sender and the receiver so this is how the network provides you with confidentiality confidentiality at the same time there should be no modification of the data being sent 
to through the network that means whatever data was sent exactly the same data should be received if you have sent say for example in a hypothetical situation if you have sent 1 2 3 4 exactly 1 2 3 4 should be sent 1 2 2 4 or 1 1 2 4 should not be sent if the sender who has sent these four digits 1 2 3 4 then the receiver must receive exactly these four digits 1 2 3 4 there shouldn't be any change in the information this is integrity right then next is your availability now many times attackers try to deface the web servers right so that the resources become unavailable for access this so because of this it becomes an uh, responsibility of the computer network to provide you security so that the network is always available for you to use so it should be the computer network must be able to provide you with confidential with confidentiality integrity and availability and if it these three things are provided to you there will be no unauthorized access there will be no misuse and there will be no forgery right so these were the four important characteristics of a computer network which every computer network must have